Hello everyone, today I will share with you my opinion of Windows 11. I've been using it as my main operation system since it was leaked and throughout all this period I will cover my personal likes and dislikes of Windows 11, some simple changes that I find useful and some others that I find useless. So without further ado, let's get started. The first one is the new interface, which is actually one of the positive changes in Windows 11. The new design to the taskbar, start menu, file explorer and settings with a nice collection of amazing themes that you can use. The new UI, animations and rounded corners clearly are more focused on the design which is actually a nice thing which makes Windows 11 one of the most beautiful operating systems the previous version was okay but this one is on another level and the next change is the snap layouts a great way to fit multiple pages and items into your monitor there was similar options in previous versions of Windows to manually drag and move files but with the new snap layouts you can do it with one or two clicks to fetch apps and pages and browse them simultaneously and in some scenarios you can't move files around unless you resize your page so overall this is a nice feature to have and I find myself using it a lot and the next feature is the ability to use Android apps natively that's a great addition to Windows, you can use them without the need of any emulators but the Amazon App Store is still limited in terms of apps that are actually useful. You can enable the Google Play Store by using the Insider program but no need to rush, Android emulators are still good enough at the moment. And the next feature is virtual desktops, a nice feature to create and manage multiple desktops and customize every desktop and change the name and the wallpaper and use each and every desktop individually. Microsoft should make some more changes to this feature but overall a good one to have but for more customization multiple users is of course a much better way but in general virtual desktops is a nice addition to Windows 11 and another great change is the new settings menu and I'm not talking about the new design, but more about how easily to browse through the menus. From the left side, you don't have to go back to the main page to check another section. You can do it easily, which makes it easier to navigate through settings. And overall, we are seeing more features from the control panel added to the settings menu. And there are other features like Microsoft Teams the common gaming enhancements like auto HDR and direct storage, the new widget menu if you find it useful, but there are far more negative changes that will make you think twice before you upgrade your operating system. And the main one of course is the new system requirements. If your computer doesn't support the new requirements, then you can't upgrade. There are a lot of people with decent devices that will cover anything they need but Microsoft simply doesn't care about the user that can't afford buying a new computer you need TPM 2.0 and secure boot the main argument from Microsoft is security enhancements while Windows is filled with tracking and data collection settings and even with the supported hardware there are a lot of performance problems and from my experience even with the current release which is stable the performance is not ideal and i'm sure that a lot of ryzen users will agree with me on this one and the next change is drag and drop this is an essential feature that i use all the time the easiest way to move files is by drag and drop to apps in the taskbar maybe this is a change to push people towards using snap layouts more but i can't understand why Microsoft will disable something this important which makes me feel that Microsoft is ruining not enhancing user experience with the coming updates Microsoft could restore this feature but that won't answer the, the main question why did Microsoft disable this feature and the next one is taskbar menu for me this is annoying in previous Windows operating systems you simply right click on the taskbar 
to open task manager and have access to other options an essential part of the start menu for years you can still open the task manager from the start menu icon but you are still limited in terms of taskbar menu options and also taskbar customization you can change the size of the taskbar you can move the icons to the left but you can't move the, the whole taskbar to the left side to the right side or to the top of the screen and another annoying change is default apps with the new release of windows microsoft made it harder to change your default apps rather than selecting a default app for media playback for example you must select your preferred media player for each individual file format not a necessary change and just made it harder for users to select their preferred software Microsoft will change this in the coming update letting you change your default browser but what about other programs and file formats and another thing that I don't like about Windows 11 is how unfinished the operating system is anyone who used this new operating system will agree with me that everything is unfinished and need a lot of work the new right click menu is limited and you have to use the older one most of the time the start menu is basic and limited and overall useless compared to the windows 10 start menu all the new changes need a lot of work and there are other things that made people angry like the need of a microsoft account in the home version and you can't use your preferred web browser everywhere in the operating system from what I see, Microsoft turned a seasonal update to a new operating system with most of the work unfinished and you are limited in terms of customizations that you can make compared to previous versions of Windows. This may turn to be a better operating system in the future, but at the moment, this is not a release that made some major changes that will make you buy a new computer to run it on a supported hardware. This is not a bad OS, but there is nothing special about it either. If you're happy with your current operating system, or if your device doesn't support Windows 11, there is no need to upgrade at the moment. That's just my opinion. Share with me your thoughts on the new Windows, what's good, what's bad, and if it's worth using at the moment. And if this video was useful, like, subscribe, till next time, bye.